Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Chris Medios here, bringing guys a um, class setup, dom a domination class setup. And yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. Don't want this video to be that long. It's gonna be one of two uploads today. I'm gonna try to get another gameplay out of me playing like Clan v Clan or something, but this is gonna be the first one to come up. So here we go, let's get started. And the first class, say at the top left corner, says slay, because that's my job. I slay out and I do what I need to do to slay. So this is my first class. Um, Remington R5 normal it's called the normal class there for me. So anytime slaying, anytime you see normal, it's gonna be me just a normal slay class. And so I have a Remington R5 with four grip, four grip and reflex. Um, I got that beautiful Wii camo on there. Um, sleight of hand, quick draw, dead silence, focus, and fully loaded. Fully loaded is just so I don't run out of ammo. Sleight of hands just in case there's like a two like a double chain that I need to kill or like three people in a row that I just need to go back to back to back on I'll get on I'll try to get them with side of hand um this is my Remington R5 stun slash nade in domination other than um my double nades class I use semtex um so it's a Remington R5 four grip muzzle or four grip um reflex we camo of course the red dot sometimes it's blue dot today's red dot um, Semtex, Stun, Quick Jaw, Dead Silence, Focus, and Fully Loaded. Those are my, um, yeah, those are my perks. And, um, yeah, this is a class that I'll use if we already have A and B. And I don't need Sleight of Hand, really, because I'm holding down more of a position to Slay. That's when I'll pull out this class. And I got to Stun, see if they got a flag. If, it's, if I'm uh, Stunning a Spot... If I stun like a spot, like a spot check to see if anybody's pushing that way, because I'm trying to like hold one down, one position down, I want them to come like behind me or something. I'll st stun the spot, but that's it. Um, double nades. This is a good class setup. This is actually one of my favorite class setups that I use. Remington R5, reflex grip. I have the 1987 camo on, I believe. Um, the M9A1 with a muzzle brake. I'll tell you why I use it in a minute. Double nades, quick draw, dead silence, focus. Um, use this class quite often, actually. I use M9A1, so when I'm using this class, say like a sovereign, I'll throw chuck my double nades and then I'll rush up there with my M9A1 and clear them off after they're weak. There's a lot of guys who use trophies and sometimes use flat jackets, so <coughs> that's why I use that. MTAR normal, it's just my normal MTAR class. Um, ready up. Or, I right, we'll go for Amtar, Grip, Muzzle Break, Ready Up, Lightweight, uh, no, wait, it's, it's Agility, Marathon, Steady Aim, Dead Silence, and Focus is just my get around map. Slay, I'll use this 95% of the time. Um, it's my normal class. my Double Nades class. I told you I'll use some text other than most of my Double Nades class. My right now. But this is, this is a quick class. I'm going to be uh, a Amtar, Grip, Muzzle Break. Uh, Semtex is my lethal, uh, Agility, Marathon, Dead Silence, Focus, and Double Nades. And this class literally is just sitting back somewhere like, uh, Cal- I'm not Cal, I can So freaking call it. It's on, uh, Sovereign. Um, I don't even remember what it's called. You just sit on, like, it's like a catwalk. Not, no, it's not the catwalk, though. It's, uh, Caution. I was thinking catwalk caution. It's sit on caution, wait for them to hop on me and double nade them. That's what I do. Alright, this is off my break. If I'm running a sub, so like a freight, a sovereign, a strike zone. Um, if my home foot on strike zone, the only this is the only time I'll do it. But I'll throw the trophy down for my, the guy capping A or C. But if I'm playing any other map, I'm keeping it for me for B. And all I'll do is I'll just rush straight to B. Don't know what route I'll take, but I'll rush straight to B. Um, and yeah, I'll just get him beam, and that's kind of what the strike package I'll use, because then I'll be like the same as my, this first class, but on this, after I get five kills, so. This is my fast slate, this is the same class Clayster, I mean, not the same class Clayster uses, but a similar class to what Clayster uses, um, I saw him use it, and I was like, wow, this gun actually does, mm, like, pretty good online, I only use it when I'm hosting, and it's a uh, freight, or... I've used it on Warhawk, it's not really effective on Warhawk because the Remington destroys this gun. This is really a submachine gun only map. 
in some this is when people are only using some machine guns so it's kind of a big map like freight sovereign um you'll pull out this because you get melted by the remington while using this anyway so i would not go up against this with the remington but it's the same fad reflex grip Slide of hand, quick draw, dead silence focus, and fully loaded. Those are my main slaying perks. That's what I really try to do to get the slay down. Um, and yeah. here we go, bison slay. Everybody's been using the bison on host. And when I'm not on host, I still use this gun because you still melt with it. And it's the same as my um, MTAR normal class. It's my bison slay class. And have a foregrip, muzzle break, weed camo, baby, weed, um, ready up, lightweight, steady aim, Dead silence and focus. Those are my perks. Specialist, I have sleight of hand. Um, I'll take off sleight of hand. You don't really need it. Um, oh, flak jacket and um, and stuns, cause those really t that I hate it when you get stunned, especially when you're rushing around with the bison. So I'll use that. Remington Normal Two. This is actually a class that Clayster uses on Blitz, but I use it on Domination because I feel like it's still effective. Um. Remington R5, Reflex, Muzzle Break, Weed Camo, of course, um, I have, sorry, I have a Semtex on it, Ready Up, Quick Draw, Death Silence, Focus, Fully Loaded, I don't think Clayster uses Fully Loaded, um, he might use a pistol instead, I don't know what he uses, but I kind of made a class off his, and a uh, Sleight of Hand, and that's that class. And the last class is a vector. I'm changing this up. I completely hated this class when I used it last night. And that's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I was getting killed by. So, uh, vector, CRB, foregrip, muzzle break, weed camo, of course, ready up, agility, marathon, steady aim, dead silence, and focus. Um, Yeah, that's my class. I never hardly, I hardly ever use this class. But um, yeah, these are my class up. I use these class. I use this class every dumb game. My normal ones are the ones I use most. So if you want to see what I'm mostly using in almost all my videos and all my thing gameplays, it's gonna be that one or that one. Even though it doesn't say normal, that's a normal class. That one. These are all depending on game mode and who we're playing. If we're playing a strong team. I'll probably pull up the Bison unless like they melt. Unless they're non. Unless we're host, which then it doesn't really matter. But if we're off host, I gotta use the bison because it still melts bison the bison. You know, once again, vectors if um, it's map like uh, freight or something. My air is not working. I don't want a long range sub. I use the vector because I think it has more range than the MTAR. Uh, it's about the same range as the MTAR. I just feel like I get more power off of it. But um. So this is going to come down to the end of the video. If you liked the video, please like it. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Brand new to you. Not really brand new to YouTube, but brand new to this channel. I'm trying to build it up from the bottom. Charisma Dias. And, uh...